Roba Gang, welcome back to a brand new episode of Resident Evil 4 Separate Ways where we play as Ada Wong. Link to the previous episode at the top right hand of your screen as per usual where we saved Leon by ringing the church but spoilers by the way. I am also um, linking subsequent uh, related episodes to the normal story with Leon in the description so that if you want to piece things together you can we have an irregularity the researcher we planted has been discovered by the illuminados you must be talking about that vagrant spaniard so where is he now he's held captive in an abandoned house located northeast of the village until he recovers the sample we can't let him die you don't need to remind me Luis, sarah and i thought i was high maintenance no, you definitely are Ada. Anyway, today's episode is about rescuing Luis Sarah. So, rescue Luis. We have our objective. We have our instructions. It's time to go. So, we are going to be doing a lot of raiding because we need the health. Our health the health drops in Ada's story are really really low and I still do not know how the merchant got into uh, the big cheese's house uh, Welcome! door is mended but he's somehow inside here got a selection of good what are you buying? so I'm gonna I can't even afford anything to be honest despicable Absolutely what are you selling? All right, let's see what we can sell. Nothing. Come Absolutely back any time. All right, let's just proceed. No, no, you know what? Let's just buy the first aid spray. I think we what can do you much buying? worse than one first aid. Is that a <laughs> All right, we can proceed. So. Like in the previous episode, the plan of approach does not change. We shoot for the head, we kick, we knife slash, we save as much ammo as possible for the tightest of tightest situations. Now in Leon's story, there was some dude inside here. And because we're playing as Ada, it's only right that there be some chips inside here. For some reason. Anyway. This is one of the more longer chapters. As... Yeah, that looks filthy. Yeah, but this is one of the more longer chapters in Ada story. Ada story only has five chapters, and this is chapter two. But chapter two is one of the longer ones. If it's me playing, if it's somebody who's competent playing, it doesn't go for more than half an hour stops. And I mean half an hour stops for someone who's competent, somebody who's not overthinking, and somebody who's not messing up a kick. Like me. So yeah, there is that anyway. As you guys can see, I am trying my best to be very economical with ammunition, but it's not working well for me so far. But who cares about that? Now, um, right now we shall be. That's hardly a masterpiece. When in Leon's playthrough, he was more receptive of it. But it is whatever. So we get ourselves the golden chicken egg and right now I am going to take my TMP and in this moment of harmony and peace I load every single weapon that I have. It's just the law. Alright, we leave. And there he is the chainsaw dude. It's kinda funny that we had to fight him as Leon as well, so when it comes to the correct timeline of the story, I'm not so sure who takes him out, to be honest. Whether be it uh, Ada or be it Leon, I clearly do not know who takes him out. I can't believe somebody threw that axe at me, but... Just gonna use the chicken egg and then we're gonna continue. So I'm gonna take out the TNT. We're gonna try all sorts of headshots. Alright. As easy as you like. Now, uh, we're 
we're gonna reload we're gonna go looking up the net nests above because they have they always have something for us so we shall be continuing we're gonna do this so that we can get them back and then we're gonna shoot this card At this point in time, uh, the Ganados are not yet developed to release parasites. But we are not so far away from it. I don't even know why I'm giving you a spoilers. I'm so sorry, this video. Anyway, that was as easy as you like. And leave me with nothing. Okay. The red herb, something that you always look forward to. And I'm very appreciative that we get it now. Still looking up the skies to make sure we don't miss a nest. And there is one. Don't come and miss. And as usual, we must face so many gunners in this region. It's the low at this point. Of course, you can also evade these um, axe throws. But I'm not the best at reading things. I like taking things head on. You know when I can't. Can't believe we missed. I'm gonna keep on trying. That back kick is now slowly becoming my favorite type of kick in the game. and we are done not with the game of course just with this section with this one section of the game if I can be accurate in my assessments anyway we move now we are back at the village I'm gonna check if they restocked this and they did wonderful so um, in the previous episode I did not read everything in the village and that's what we're gonna do so we shall be heading through every single bit of this all that all the way to the destination up north where if you guys remember in the very first episode um leon went and found Luis. so um every event that happened in the first chapter in Ida story is related to the first episode in the first chapter actually in leon's story and part of leon's first chapter is related here but it gets royally mixed up very quickly. Again, why am I giving you guys spoilers when you are right here to see everything unfold? I'm so sorry. Anyway, so we're gonna start by climbing this ladder. You don't have to do things the way I'm doing it. As I said, I am really not competent at playing this version of the game. By this version, I only mean Ada's story. I, am, I, I believe I'm kind of competent at playing Leon's story. I'm not, I'm not competent enough to do speed running because I've literally seen people finish this game in like an hour or five minutes when they're playing Leon's story. And I know that I recently played uh, the island section when you first get into the island, and it literally took me a whole hour to just finish that chapter. Yeah. Definitely not doing any speed running anytime soon. But that's the thing, like I, d I don't really care about speed, speed running. I normally love. I just love experiencing the game in totality. Anyway, we have a moment of rest, but so I'm gonna do my reloading as by usual. And now I am going to get hit by a hook because. Again, I am very incompetent. Now, the reason why I normally back away from these guys even though they don't have any heads is because sometimes they can still grab you and choke you out. It's very, very freaky when it happens. Anyway, I'm going to go back to I'm through this. And there is some dude over here. Fantastic. With his sights, okay, we're gonna. Okay, I was kinda expecting some grenades, but I guess Leon took them all in. 
perfect time to use a shotgun to escape because we are surrounded we need the room so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna knock this down and then we're gonna jump out yeah as easy as you like so these guys are definitely gonna follow us because they are uber aggressive it looks like a very good place for me to test out our TNT somewhere. Alright, those guys are down. Accidentally shot the car a bit. Sorry, dude. Alright. Guess there's still some more guys around. Not that I really care though. Alright, there's that dude over there. But first I'm just gonna go running around making sure I've not missed any single thing that I need to take. And then we can proceed on forward. Alright, some more handgun ammo. At this point I am literally trying my best to hold as much ammo as I can because I do know for a fact that once I cannot uh, continue moving forward with this ammo the game is gonna be so 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 difficult to play but I'm kinda hopeful that it won't be so I'm kinda hopeful that I'm actually more competent and I'm just waiting for these two dudes to make their way up ladder so they can kill it alright one fell down the other is up here It's kind of nice to see the story from Ada's perspective where you can see how important she was to Leon's success in the game. Of course, I, I believe Ada was doing much better under the CPU's control than she is under my control, so there is that. But yeah, it looks like a very fun... It looks like it was really fun. So, um, the golden chicken egg will restore our health completely so I'm just gonna hold out on using it until my health turns red that way it won't be too much of a waste anyway let's move downstairs and figure out what else we can be doing for ourselves um I do not see anything much down here except for these barrels and some handgun armor that we should take now we can um, nothing again okay. so still nothing basically <laughs> anyway do you think this is the last cabin in the main village that we have to check and then when we are done we can proceed on out and you see now any competent person has been evading these guys like that for ages but not me I'm the kind of guy who has to get hit by a scythe has to get hit by an axe yeah because I'm really 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 bad at what I do and we finally get the elegant mask now in the previous episode we did get some of this uh, gems that you can see so I'm gonna combine them all on the max that way it's gonna be super super valuable as you guys can see now I shall now get some of this stuff and then we shall leave this village and head over to save Luis Um, yeah, I'm um, just taking one last look around. I think I have everything. So we now move upwards. Should actually take this box first. I really hate the developer sometimes. It's either an empty box or it has a snake. I'm not gonna think about how much I'm not liking the developers right now. I'm just gonna slash and move, slash 
and move. And then some more TMP ammo which we will take. We love us some TMP ammo. An empty room, sure. Why not? And some more shotgun shells. Shotgun shells. Right. We leave. Okay, so now that I'm here, I'm gonna check where I'm supposed to leave through. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Take it down. And it's a spinal. I mean, it's not the big treasure that Leon got, but. It's not the worst thing in the world. Right, so I'm gonna draw them all together. They are ultra aggressive as per usual. So I'm just gonna lead them all the way up here where they have no choice but to all converge at the same place as I am. I could throw down the ladder, but that's gonna take much more time for them to converge on me, so... We're gonna get our shotgun ready, because we're gonna need it. Headshot. I don't even know how that person fell from the ladder. Alright, let's try our TNT out. Of it. Seems to be working just fine. Alright. I think that was successful now that there's only one person left. Just gonna knock you down, take you down, and you're done. Now we should raise this ladder up because we're gonna need it to progress to the next area. Now I can finally start moving around after I reload all of my guns. Now we can start raiding this place for what it's worth. Honestly speaking, I'm surprised at how better the animation record has been in this episode compared to the last one. It's something that I was not looking forward to, but apparently it's much better, so I'm actually even... I want to say I'm kinda hopeful that things are gonna be much better actually. But I don't say that too much often about any Resident Evil title because you guys know it's always downhill until you're almost at the end of the game. And even then, you never know your situations will not change, but my skepticism aside, it's time for us to move up. And I think there should be a treasure around here, so let's see. Even I jump down from here. Okay, I think we passed it, so... Yeah, there is that box over there, so... Let's just head on back up. And then we can... Finally go get that treasure. As usual, treasure is the only way we can make some decently quick cash and... After our weapons, should we need be? And even sometimes get some more uh, suitcase no yeah the case space because this case you normally start the game with is usually so bad like that space is so small it's it's disgusting this quite speaking okay we are done with that 
It's time for us to go and take that guy out. Did not even see it come. Alright. Now this door is locked. And it doesn't even lead to where we're supposed to be going anyway, so... Um, I'm gonna go climb back up. And then I'm gonna go jump down. Okay, I see some bear traps, so I'm just gonna hop over this way, then hop over that way. And then we are gonna leave this joint. Alright, so this is where Leon was chased down by a boulder. As for us, we are not gonna get chased down by a boulder, so we are gonna have to take this whole entire pathway the old fashioned way without being able to sprint as quickly as possible. Here we are. So I'm gonna take down all of these guys just to make sure that they don't get in my way. It would be much easier for me to do so if I had a rifle back at all, so I'm gonna have to try to do this with a handgun as smoothly as possible. kinda hard not concentrating on them because I'm having to shoot from afar but trying my best so that you can get this done and move on. some other guys in that apartment right next to where we are supposed to be headed so I'm gonna have to deal with them first just a bit so that we can clean this off quite quickly. other than this guy, so I'm assuming that we're not at all. It's kind of a shame because I was hoping that would be the last guy I had to deal with, but... Steadily taking them all down.
Alright. I'm hoping that's the last of them so that we can proceed. Okay, I still hear more footsteps. We still find one more person, and this one actually has dynamite. God damn it. Alright. That is well done. There is nobody else. So. I hear no more uh, ominous music, so I think we are good. So, Leon and Louis have both been captured and if you guys remember the end of the first chapter in the original playthrough, uh, the big cheese really did a number on both of them. You know, so both of them are down there at the prison and so we have to literally head on back the way we came and go back and get them, which is just fantastic. get our groove together okay so i'm not seeing any uh laser dynamites connected all around so that's good we're gonna continue taking a lot of ammunition along the way because we need all of it like uh, all of it uh, yes, mm, all right so there's nobody left apart from this thing. Headshot kick slash one of the slowest way to complete the game, but when it comes to Ada, it's really really necessary. Now, let's head on back to the village if I can actually find my way out of this place. Okay, we're gonna go running on up. And up and up and up running forward running forward so that way we can at least be able to okay i see two dudes over there so i can how much do you guys want to bet on the one who's holding a dynamite anyway gonna have to take them all out first Actually, don't need any of them um, coming close to me, so I'm not gonna allow them to do that. As you guys can see, there are guys who literally dropped from the footbridge above. came from okay. is it raining ganados or something anyway i think it's now time to do the nice wonderful cleanup to the rtmp uh, 
Now I'm gonna need to find a way to get up here. I think you should be able to use a hook shot though I'm not seeing a way how to do that. Whoa 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 whoa. I'm trying to but I can't. I cannot figure out how to use our hook shot because it's not giving me any prompt to do so. I don't know if it's because I'm injured or something but it's not really giving me well, One is down. That makes me happy. Alright. Both of them are down. Now, back to the bridge which I'm trying to because as you guys can see there is a barrel up there. And I'm pretty sure that barrel has something important for us to pick. And it's kind of bothering me that I can't get up there. So let's try and heal ourselves and see if it's because maybe we are just injured and we cannot go up there without a full complement of health. I don't know man, it's not giving me the prompt to use the hook shot, which is kind of frustrating. But it's fine. I'm sure whatever it is is probably not that important. I say that after using like three to four minutes of my time trying to find the hook shot prompt so that we can get up there, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Okay, yeah, I'm defeated, you guys. Whatever is up there. What I decided, disturbing signpost, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I kind of really, really want to get up there, but I don't know how to do so. Oh, so frustrating. And the other path is kind of locked, so I, I don't even know if there's a way we can do that. And it's fine. Let's just leave and proceed on as expected of us. Right, so we're supposed to be headed down all the way to the prison. Which should be fun. So remember that there are some bear traps are that specific corner so we just jump over we just to get some free shotgun shares so that's nice and i see something shining over there no that's just a jump but we do have something shining over here and the spinal sure let's just continue to move forward shall we to take all these guys down once more. Okay, that was kinda cool. Wow. It's never just easier, I'll tell you that much. Okay, I now know the path after looking at the map like 50 times. Right, so I'm gonna wait for these guys to bunch up again so I can get up there. I'm gonna give myself time. Alright, 
it's time for some TMP. Alright, let me move out of the way because they are really, really, really. Look at how bad it's trapped in So cute to Alright, you're I'm done and finished Again, not so that's not in my head. Man. Not gonna help you. Alright, let's just finish up reloading in this moment uh, moment of false peace. Then we're gonna keep on running forward, running forward, running forward until we get to. Okay, I'm getting this to guys. This to guys. Keep on taking all of that time. At this point, it's just a rule of thumb. Before they all take me down. Just the one dude left. Now this one dude is very important. It's very important to the story. As you guys can see, he's wearing a very stylish coat. And that is Leon's jacket. So, if you ever wondered why Leon does not have a jacket after he was captured, dude there took it. Explains a lot by the way. Alright, so I'm pretty sure most of you guys remember this part where we played as Leon and... Maybe... Maybe I don't even remember what I'm trying to talk about. But I think th this is definitely the part where Ada saves us when... We go back into that room as Leon. Hay un rumor que hay un extranjero entre nosotros. Nuestro jefe se curará de la rata. Si la plaga es mucho mejor que la nuestra. Tienes razón, es un hombre. You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. I don't know when it is so cool. What? Same blood. never knew what happened to Ada ever since, but we are about to find out right now. So this is what happens to Ada when she sacrifices herself to save Leon from the big chief. Now, there was a point in the Leon playthrough. When I was telling you guys to be vigilant about one thing that was happening, and Leon said that there was some fresh blood, I will link that episode in the description as well. But here is your answer. I don't know, man. 
really nice game. But yeah, so there's your answer as to why you're not saying that the blood seems to be fresh. And that was some really bad choreographed throne access. Anyway, I think we sh I can't do this with a big gun. Mm, they are bunched up. And so let's go TMP from this point on. Right, so at this point in time, Ada has been out long enough for Leon to uh, run into this Ganados uh, that actually turn into parasites. So from this point on, there is the risk that the Ganados you fight will turn into parasites as well. We run that risk and we get another green cast. Huh? Gun as well, and I'm gonna give this guy some one round. So we're just gonna do say handgun. So, headshots. Okay, he doesn't turn into parasite. Okay, so as per usual, there's always one dude that has dynamics. Okay, it's like that. There's always one. There just always has to be one. I'm gonna try to shoot the dynamo in his hand. Alright. So we're gonna take the green up. I'm not gonna use it. I've already learned my lesson when it comes to using health when I'm not at my worst health level possible. So that's gonna leave it there. I like how our finances are looking though at 35k. It's really good. Yeah, we just have to keep on moving forward. All right. So we're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna meet the merchant. We're gonna sell him the elegant mask first because it should be worth a lot of cash by now. So we can't operate that machine yet, but we do get the iron key. Welcome! Got a selection of good... What are you selling? So we're gonna sell him the elegant mask with... We're gonna sell him the gold as well. <laughs> the elegant <laughs> mask. <laughs> and the ruby. <laughs> and the first spine is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? So we're is gonna buy the attachment. <laughs> Thank you. Which looks fantastic. And we're gonna buy the rifle as well. Is because that all? the rifle is just something that you must have in the game. So I'm gonna do something that I've not done in a while. I'm gonna have to rearrange my case. You guys saw this a lot in the main playthrough. So I'm just gonna ask that you bear with me. Just one moment. No, the handgun should always be at the top left. Yeah, so you guys just bear with me for one moment as I rearrange my case again. So I'm gonna be very very meticulous about how I rearrange my case as you guys have already seen. And yeah. Then I'm gonna place the two medicines at the top and the up right there and then we have our rifle. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well I'm just gonna take the treasure map because why not? At this point you're sure why not. <laughs> Thank you. Come back. Alright, so I have looking at the map I have taken some of the treasures. But not all of them. How how is that treasure down the way down there? Okay, yeah, that's not that's not good. Back at any time. Anyway, we get ourselves some shotgun shells, 
and then we can leave this area now we have the iron key that i need to figure out how to use so i'm just gonna use that first i know i know i was ready to what about you most this, but i think we can is buy the first aid spray <laughs> which is even better to have so right i'm gonna reload every single weapon that i have and then we're gonna go to where the iron key to whichever door the iron key opens Let's check the map. It opens that gate. Okay, let's leave. Normally, the merchant would be here when he players Liam. So it's nice to see that there are different areas for him to be around. Now, when you come here as Liam, this gate is usually already open. So. At least now we know why. And if for the more keen eyed of you guys, this is usually the area we fight. Vitores Mendes, aka the big cheese. Alright, so we are gonna open this. I'll get our own chain to live. Now, here's the funny thing we don't even have to be in the room to fight them. Yeah, who knew? So, I'm just gonna fight them from a distance with the rifle. It's kinda why we go to church, right? Alright. This chain to lady was making her way towards us at a rate of knocks. But you know, she is not that, she's not quicker than a bullet. No one is. Sell the flash. Alright. Now we are gonna go around looting now. We get the lift activation key. We continue looting the area for any single thing that we can get. Alright, so we have two green ups, but I'm gonna hold up. I hold off on combining them. I do believe we are going to find more colored ups inside this area. Okay, I see something red here. The incendiary grenade. Gonna climb up and check for the other stuff. Now. I do not think we us taking this is going to affect Leon because my theory is the camera crew will just come and restock because they knew they just know that Leon is gonna need it so they already knew that Ada was gonna be here first so yeah they just they are, they will come back and restock it for Leon's next scene. Or for whenever Leon's scene. Or for whenever it's time for Leon's scene, that's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, because speaking is hard, I'm gonna focus on actually playing the game. <laughs> right, so we have the lift activation key mechanism and I have just that there's some treasure back there so going back awesome get the yellow up we're gonna mix it with the red and green up and we're gonna get the red cast eye fantastic now with all these three cast eyes all we need is that uh, flask thing that we had with Leon but with Leon we only had the green and the yellow and now I'm thinking that the red cast eye was always back there and just now I found it which is insane because you know I normally think that I'm really really good at what I do Anyway, um, I think we can't take them down with the rifle or the TMP. Now, this this is why I love having options. All right. 
you know I've given you guys my options and then I don't go ahead and use them. You know, TMP and we're done. I honestly don't like how incompetent I am most times. My, my incompetence sometimes knows no bounds. Of course there has to be some dude using dynamite. Of course there just had to be some dude using all the dynamite in the world, but anyway. I don't even know why there are so many guys. Oh boy. We just had to get hit by some dude holding a torch. My gaming skill is absolutely in the pits at this point. I don't even have a defense for how badly I've been playing this one chapter. <laughs> okay, that completely makes up for it. Alright, I'm gonna take my rifle. And goodbye, Parasite. Alright. We are gonna do the customary reloading. So that we are not caught lacking. Alright. We can now proceed on forward with our mission. So now we are gonna head back inside here and we are gonna be able to use the lift operation mechanism. And now the lifts, lifts are fully operational and if you can look back to when we were playing as Leon when we came and we found that they were all operational well. We have Ada to thank for that. Actually we have Ada to thank for saving us from the big cheese as well. Let's see what else we can find in this region. Because that's the gate where we normally have to use uh, the big cheese's eye to get through. It's a good thing we have our hook shot so we don't need to do that. And especially now we don't need to do that. I can also see we cannot use the route that has the many uh, ganados. So that's also a good thing for us. Now all we have to do is move around, uh, continue building up our stock of ammo because we definitely need all of it so we get some more peters over there there's a typewriter there should we need to save we don't and we can now get some more handgun ammo which we most certainly need all right now all we need to do is get across we're gonna use our hook shot now this is the thing i was looking for i looked for the hook shot when i wanted to get atop that bridge and see what was up that barrel but i could not get it and apparently i'm not even getting it right now again which is kind of pissing me off at this point i feel like a second class gamer at this point only allowed to use the hook shot at certain points in the game. Should be allowed to use the hook shot all the time. Hell, I should even be allowed to use it when I try to destroy somebody. Alright, hook shot. Alright. 
Now as you can see that hook shot was in red. I expected it to read the same way when I was under the bridge but lo and behold it did not work for poor old me. Isn't it funny how it started working? It is literally suddenly working when and when I wanted it to it did not. You know he got the yellow cast eye. I'm gonna just jump down. And yeah, we are pretty much almost where we need to be. So we're gonna get ourselves more handgun ammunition. Ah, this is a route with the El Gigante, so as you guys know, the hand, not the handgun, the, the TMP. The TMP does wonders against the El Gigante, you guys have no idea. Anyway gonna take as much ammunition as we can carry we're gonna go through all these sharks picking up anything that we can have and even the game is just literally blessing you with as much TMP armor as you need to carry because there, li there is literally nothing better to take on the Gigante with other than your TMP and we're gonna do some more combinations over there and we like the exit. So I'm just gonna spray this dude with a lot of TMP. Um I think two to three of those should be to be honest. But this is the second one. Just gonna wait for him to go down and then we're gonna no. slash and cut, slash repeat, slash repeat. Okay, that was the second one. He's still not dying, so third time's the champ. I reloaded in the process because I don't think he's gonna come back up from this one. We only get 10,000 for beating him. We got way more as Leon, but it's okay. We're gonna use the app because there's literally no space to carry it. And yeah, we finally arrived where I want to go. Although I don't know if I can get to that treasure from I here. No, I can't. You guys go on. God freaking best. And this is the end of this chapter. Hey, said, senorita, you got a light and some smokes to go with it to make my day? Where's the sample? Okay, we skipped the foreplay. As a matter of fact, I was just going to get it. Where's the love, baby? Sounds like fun to me. Just hurry up. As I said... Okay, lady. Where do you stand on all of this? Exactly what kind of group are you working for? There are some things in the world better off not knowing. This is one of them. <laughs> Fine, I can take a hint. I don't care who you are, as long as you get rid of that old man and his religious friends. Yeah, so any competent person would have done this in like half an hour tops. It took me double the time, but I think I did good. So I shall be seeing you guys in the next episode. So until then, stay safe, be smart, be kind. Tell somebody to love them today. Catch you in the next Among episode. all the people Bye, involved guys. in this, Luis Serra has the least entanglements. He works for no organization, preferring to move on his own. I'm the one who told the organization of his importance. I did it because I like him. His history betrays an enthusiasm I once shared. It was a stroke of luck that I happened to intercept his email for help. It seems he can't trust the police, so he sent the email to an old friend from college. He must have thought his friend was still alive. At any rate, that's how I managed to find him. Apparently, he's been conducting his own investigation of the cult while doing research on Las Plagas. A brilliant scientist. 
He's accumulated a pile of data and pieced it all together. Must be why Sadler hired him. Hmm. Too bad Sarah's snooping has aroused his suspicion. When I told him who I was, he practically begged to be taken into custody. He needed protection. He said, I have no love for Las Plagas or this stupid cult I want out. I just want peace and quiet again. I ordered him to bring me a Master Plaga specimen, a sample for evidence. Looks like he's one of the few people whom Sadler actually trusts. Tracking him down and getting my hands on the sample shouldn't be difficult. I doubt the cult will take kindly to his escape, though. I'll have to guide this along if I want it to go smoothly. I'm mm -hmm.